Hey there, fellas. Making a quick video today. A little 327 update for you all. <clears throat> uh, I got my uh, alternator installed with the brackets. Everything worked out good. You can take a look at that there. Uh, I did have a problem finding the right belt here because I don't have a whole lot of play because of the, the clearance between the uh, alternator and the valve cover. So I had to go down the store about four times before I got it right. It still has a little bit more play than I would like in it. About a half an inch. I like to only have like an eighth of an inch in there. So I'm going to maybe dremel that bracket out just a little bit so I get a little bit more pull on it. Besides that, it should be good. Uh, let's see here. I did decide to go with this stuff here, uh, if you can see it. Hopefully it, uh, it uh, you know, focuses. It's uh, Comp Cam's engine break-in oil additive. Uh, this stuff, supposedly, you put in there with your regular oil to use to break it in. So that's what I'm going to do with that. <clears throat> I also picked up one of these here uh, oil engine primers. I had one years ago. It got lost in the shuffle. So that's what we're going to be using to prime it up. Uh, I believe I showed you how the wires turned out last time. Uh, let's see. The only uh, problem between uh, me and getting this thing started is going to be finding a way to get the flywheel uh, on there because uh, as you can see these uh, the bracket for this engine stand isn't very uh, long so I either have to get it off of here get it on my other stand and raise the wheels to gain more clearance for the headers or get something altogether different so that's where I'm at I may take a little break here uh, due to the health reasons and things. Uh, I did want a, uh, a little shout out to my buddy Hambone. I was wondering if he had gotten the uh, package I sent him. Uh, so let me know if you did. And uh, that's about it, fellas, for, for this one. So uh, have a good day, all. Take care.